Okay, today we're gonna to learn how to use Adobe Illustrator to cut out shapes, like uh, make one shape and then cut that out of another shape within Illustrator. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. Let's just make a new project here. Here we go. Now let's say I just want a, uh, like an outline of a circle. It's easy to make a circle, but what if you just want the uh, kind of like a border? You're using it as a border, right? So first, let's make our circle. And let's choose, let's say we want it to be blue or purple. I don't know what color that is. It's one of the two. And let's say I want no stroke, OK? So. I'm going to drag this and I'm going to hold shift while I drag it so it's perfectly round. There we go, there's my circle. But now, let's say I just want the edge of this. So I could try and do that again, <coughs> but then it, uh, well, I guess if I hold shift, it's still going to be a perfect circle, right? Or the easier way would probably be to just copy and paste this. Copy, command V, paste. There we go. And this other one, let's change the color of it so it stands out. There we go. And I'm just going to shrink this down a little bit and then put it right in the middle there. It looks like it's right in the middle, but if we want to be sure, we can select both of them. So I hold Shift, click both of them, and then go up to our alignment tools here. And we can horizontally align the center like that, which it already was, but I'm just going to move this to the side. Just so you see, horizontal line center, boom. And you can do the same for the, the middle. OK, so now we know it's right in the middle of it. OK, here's the deal. I'm going to cut out this shape, cut this shape out of the outline. So all that's left is the dark blue that you see. So I select, I select both of them. And let's see if I can remember which one it is. It is in your window, and it's called Pathfinder. So you open up your Pathfinder window, and it's one of these things. I think it's this one, minus front. So that means whatever is on the top layer will get cut out of the bottom layer. So I click that, boom, minus front. It just cut it out, and now all that's left is this border, and the inside is blank. Pretty sweet, right? Now we can resize that however we want. Let's try that again. So I'm going to put another circle in here. Like that, and I'm going to select this and align both of them horizontally and vertically. Put that right in the middle. Now let's say I want to cut out a star this time. <clears throat> There's probably an easier way to, oh, star tool, hey, okay. Wow. Uh, let's make this a different color so I can see it better. Let's make it red. OK, and I'm going to want this right in the middle as well. So let's select all of these horizontally line, vertically line. There we go. It's right in the middle. Except somehow it doesn't look right in the middle, huh? Because there's a lot more space on the top than there is on the bottom. So I'm just going to eyeball this. No matter what that align tool says, put it right there. All right, let's do this again. So I select both of these, select the star, hold shift, select the circle behind it. I've already got my Pathfinder open, but let's say I didn't, because you probably forgot. So window, Pathfinder, and again we do minus front. There are a few other options. We could unite, create a compound shape, or we could intersect. What does that do? Huh. I don't know what that did. Looks like it deleted the background. Anyway, minus front is what I want. There we go. 
And now this circle has a star cut out of it, and you can see through it. Let me stop recording this first. That, that's all you need to know how to do for, for cutting out shapes. So good luck.